good morning people and welcome back to vietnam so right now i am in the city of hanoi and hanoi is a city which is the capital city of vietnam and it's also in the north part of vietnam so in today's episode it's a very special episode where i show you my apartment and where i live in hanoi i've been living in this apartment for around 1.5 months now and i only pay 150 us dollars rent per month and that's it that is why you need to watch this video because the rent only comes around 10000 indian rupees or 150 us dollars so keep watching and stay tuned to limitless nomad Welcome to my room and yeah this is it So that's my bed and that's my workstation that's where I usually work and edit my YouTube videos and yeah I also play a lot of games such as Counter Strike CS:GO if you know about it if you are a CS:GO fan do let me know in the comments below it's kind of an amazing game if you do not know about it do go and play it some days okay i'm not really a real estate youtuber but i'm going to give you the key features of this room the best part about this apartment is my big bed and the wooden flooring trust me the wooden flooring makes a lot of difference so if you ever find find an apartment with wooden flooring always always take it because it makes a lot of difference and yes i also do get like three big wardrobes and yeah it's kind of useful i don't really keep things very arranged usually but yeah it's kind of handy to have this big of a wardrobe and this is the water jug you get in vietnam this water jug only cost 35000 vietnamese dong which is around 100 indian rupees and this much water i think it's 20 liters of water and i think that's enough for one week so the total water bill for one month is around 120 vietnamese dong which is around 400 500 indian rupees okay so right now i'm in the parking of the house and this is the parking this is my bike right here and yeah the parking is really nice i can park my bike and i don't have to park my bike on the streets which is not safe in vietnam so right now i'm just going to show you the house this is where we keep our raincoats and yeah welcome to the living room of our house and this is a shared house we are total 8 people there are total 8 different rooms so we even have a lift and we can use it to go up and down i don't really use it much because my room is on the second floor and i only use it because if i have to go to the terrace or do laundry okay now it's time to show you the kitchen of our house and yeah it's kind of a messy kitchen but yeah here it is we have a fridge there's a sink we have a lot of utensils we do have an oven and also a rice cooker a cough a kettle and a toaster so we get a lot of utensils in a shared house that's how it works we also have a dining table where we can sit this month it's really hot so i usually eat in my room anyways but yeah it's kind of a nice kitchen i like it i cook once a day usually lunch that's the only meal i cook or else i just go out to eat okay so i just wrapped up all my clothes because today is laundry day and one of the best things which i like about living in this apartment or the shared house is that we have a laundry machine and a drying machine as well so my laundry gets done in exactly 2 or 3 hours yes the dryer makes a lot of difference because you don't have to put hang up your clothes on a string and wait for 4 or 5 hours to dry because not every day it's sunny outside in hanoi sometimes it does rain and if you are ever looking for an apartment always look for an apartment which has a dryer it makes your life a lot easier One of the reasons I really like this house is because most of the furniture here and most of the steps all of the steps here are wooden even the flooring in my room is wooden so I really like it so that's the washing machine and that's the dryer 
this takes around one hour and this takes around 1.5 hours to dry my clothes and that's it three hours and my laundry is done okay now it's time to show you the bathroom of my apartment and it's shared by two people which live on the same floor so there are two rooms on the same floor and in the middle there is a bathroom and the lift so there are total eight four floors i think five floors unlike hostels where you have to share one bathroom with six to eight people it kind of gets annoying but sharing with just one person it's not really that bad and my neighbor is really cool so i personally haven't had any problems with sharing the bathroom with her so yeah now i'm going to show you the bathroom so let's go that's my room and this is the bathroom here the final bathroom verdict is that the bathroom is really nice actually it's more fancy than what you would get in a $150 apartment. So yes, I got really lucky when I got this apartment. And yes, I just found this apartment on Facebook. If you are ever coming to Hanoi or any city in Vietnam, just go on Facebook groups saying like apartments in Hanoi or Hanoi Massive. That's the Facebook group where you can find apartments. And yeah, that's the only way to find apartments you can go through an agent but that's going to be more expensive this way you don't have to pay any commission or agent fees so normally that's how everyone who comes to hanoi or all the expats who come and live here usually they find the apartments using these facebook groups so so far everything i've said is very good about this apartment and a few things which i haven't said is that the view from the window is not really great because i'm on the second floor and right now it's raining but i'm still going to show you so yeah the view is not really great but i don't really mind it because i rarely see out of my window the curtains are always closed and i do go out every day near the lake which is one of the most beautiful parts in the city so i don't really need to see beauty every time i open my window okay so now i'm going to show you the terrace of our house uh, welcome so yeah the view is really nice you can see the whole city of hanoi it's absolutely beautiful i really like coming up here i don't usually come up but sometimes during the sunsets it's really nice to come up here and just you know chill hang out with your friends we do have a nice place to sit some chairs yeah we do have alcohol here sometimes and also i would like to say a few things about my life here in vietnam and yeah i would say i'm really having fun it's a really good city to live in if you want to experience something new a new culture then i would really recommend you to come here and stay in vietnam especially in the city of hanoi one of the reasons i would really recommend you to come here and stay in hanoi is because there are a lot of people here there is diversity a lot of foreigners and expats live here from all around the world i have met people from somalia from haiti and all around the world especially countries like america canada i have met people from almost every country in europe and it's one of the most fascinating places to live in and so i would really recommend for you to come here and it's cheap man it's really cheap it's almost as cheap as india a little bit more expensive if you consider food because in india the food is a little bit cheaper than in hanoi uh, or in vietnam i would say hanoi or vietnam is just five or ten percent more expensive than india but it's still an amazing place to live it's more diverse and it's multicultural it's there are so many people here so many amazing people and all my interviews on the meet a stranger series are shot in hanoi and this is where i met all the amazing people and all the amazing content i got is from this city so i would yes so i would really recommend you to come here and live here for at least one month in the city of hanoi and finally yes this episode was more about apartments in hanoi and in vietnam i will share more about my life in vietnam soon in the next few videos so keep watching and stay tuned to limitless nomad and also guys do not forget to subscribe to my channel and help me out hit the notification bell like this video because if you like this video more people can see it that's how the youtube algorithm works and i will see you in the next episode also if you want to talk to me just leave a comment below and we can start a conversation